Hello YouTube, it's Grossama, and here we have today is the High Grade Bill Divers Mobile Doll Sarah. Now this is a lot like the Figure Eye Standard Diver Nami, but this one I think just stands out a little bit more. I believe the plastic uh, quality is a little bit better. I believe the details are a little bit better as well as just some other little aesthetics that just makes this one stand out from all the other kind of you know girl mecha kits that Bandai has pushed out in the past. So let's take a look at what makes this kit so good. So in terms of detail, this kit has it. It has great surface detail, uh, a lot of panel lines, and I know this is uh, technically a mecha in the anime itself, but it just really caught me off guard to see just how many panel lines and just how many different you know types of mechanical surface detail uh, this kit would actually have. So the stickers that are going to come with the kit are sets of eyes that are looking in multiple different directions, and then you're going to have the two green eyes for the you know pretty much the MS mode. And then two green kind of sensors, I would assume, uh, that's going to be for the forehead as well as the back of the head. And then two purple strips that are going to be for the hair. So I decided to paint the eyes on mine. And here what the eyes are going to look like uh, basically as stickers. And then if you kind of just come back over here, it's fairly similar, but um, I, I don't know. I just really prefer the painted look much over the kind of stickers. I think they would have st uh, stuck out like a sore thumb. So I painted the eyebrows, painted the little eyelashes and the eyes themselves. And I think it came out okay. And then I painted the little purple strips around the hair. Not really too much difficulty. And the back green sensor. Now let's look at the articulation of the kit. The head is on a ball joint. The hair is also on a ball joint. The shoulder is going to be on a ball joint. And there's also a rotation right here in the shoulder. The shoulder can rotate all the way up. Two points of articulation right here at the elbow, which gives it a wide range of movement. Ball jointed hand. This front part of the dress can actually rotate up. And a ball jointed waist. This front part of the skirt can move up. Now these side skirts can kind of move, but I really wouldn't test it because I've already had a stress mark on this side. So I would you know, try and avoid moving these as much as possible. And the back skirt is going to be plugged right in here, so it's not really going to be able to move. But it kind of has the illusion that it's moving, but I guess it's just wiggling out of the socket. The hip joints can move in and out. Rotation right here on the thigh. Two points of articulation right here at the knee, giving it a pretty good range of movement. And then the foot is going to be on a peg, thus allowing it to have a very large, wide range of movement. And then this front part of the foot can also move back and forth, just allowing, you know, maybe more dynamic movements. And so what kind of accessories is this kid coming with? Well, this kid's gonna have open hands, and she'll also have these closed fists that have a, you know, kind of peg hole in them, but she doesn't come with any accessories to actually, like, put anything in there, like a beam saber or any kind of weapon. Now, for the most part, she can wield weapons, uh, just as long as they fit in the hand, but I think it's a little bit scary with the, uh, the real type face, so maybe in the MS mode, it will look a little bit more intimidating. Now to turn it from the real mode to the MS mode, it's going to be a little bit of a parts forming. So the first thing you want to do is take off the front hair piece and you're going to take off the side hair. And then lastly, you'll take this uh, whole part of the face off. And next you want to put the new MS face on, the side hair back on, and then this new front plate with uh, kind of like a little antenna right there. Now you also need to change the kind of skin tone color right here to the white parts, but I'll go ahead and I'll do that off screen. And here it is with the white arms. And then next, uh, I just pretty much like lift these up, just kind of like bring them out like that. And you're gonna wanna do the same for these side skirts, so you wanna bring all of them up, and these as well. And the last part is just bringing out these little stabilizers. And here she is in her complete MS mode. Uh, now this just allows her to navigate through the diver world. Um, overall, I think it looks really cool. Um, I, I did not like it when I first seen the promotion of pictures, much like the real mode. Uh, but after building it and kind of just you know putting it in poses, it really warmed up to me, or I really warmed up to it. And the reason that the little skirts come up, and I, I really just didn't notice until I watched the episode finally, um, was, is that she has kind of like these um, emitters, I would say. It's like kind of like a, it's not a moonlight butterfly per se, but she does have uh, the capabilities of producing a moonlight butterfly. So if you do have, um, you know, such effect parts of the moonlight butterfly, you can definitely go ahead and attach it to uh, the bottom part of the skirt, and it would just be, you know, pretty cool looking, a pretty cool aesthetic. Um, I don't have any kind of effect parts like that, so unfortunately I cannot show y'all. 
But yeah, you can pretty much imagine uh, how it would look like with the Moonlight Butterfly, and I think, it I think it would look pretty cool. And now in this mode, I did change the eyes up, so I basically put down some silver, and then some clear green right on there, but I did not do the same for the top sensor. Uh, instead, I just kind of gave it uh, more of a dark green look, and I put some clear green over it, but then my thumb accidentally touched it. That kind of sucked. Uh, so I didn't want to clean it up, I just kind of left it as is, and maybe in the future I'll clean it up then. But yeah, I think it beat the, uh, you know, utilizing the stickers, so I'm definitely going to just keep doing that in the future. And if you didn't know already, she's going to come with a clear stand, uh, which pretty much connects to the underside of the skirt, uh, which isn't really bad. Uh, I, I don't really mind it at all, but I think it, they could have probably invented a better way uh, to plug her in because, I don't know, it's just sometimes a little bit loose and she does not have a secure, you know, connection at all times. Now in terms of comparisons, here she is next to one of the Frame Arms girls, the Architect Off-White and also the Figure Eye Standard Diver Nami. All in all, I don't think it's a bad kit at all. Uh, the only cons I can really think of is just the lack of accessories, a lack of different types of you know hands as well as uh, different facial expressions. And also the kit is just gonna be a pain to stand on its own. So even with all the cons, this kit really, really is going to just shine overall. It's going to look really good on the shelf, even compared to the Frame Arms kits, which I'm very much particular to. Uh, I, I just, I don't know, this kit really looks amazing, both in the MS form and the real form. It's very adorable, it has some really great posability, and it's just a pleasure to, you know, maybe do some uh, detailed paint work, uh, whether to the eyes or anywhere else, even just a basic panel line. This isn't even top coated, it looks perfect. And I'm pretty sure you can just enhance it even more if you want to add weapons, accessories, or anything else. Maybe even some like other types of clothing or accessories, um, you know, like some ribbons or whatever you want to do. It's going to look really good. Now one last gripe before I go ahead and conclude this video is the parts forming to turn her from real mode to MS mode. And it doesn't really take too long to do, but it is a little bit of a struggle because for the body out, at least, you have to take apart the entire chest and replace all the skin tone on the inside uh, with white parts. So it's just a little bit on the hassle on the chest part, but for the head, it's actually pretty simple. You just take off a couple pieces and bam, you're pretty much done. So I wish they can kind of simplify for the chest uh, next time if they do something like this. Uh, other than that, I mean, the, the kit overall is really great. So. Um, you know, once again, I'm not the one that's going to be doing the overall, you know, grading. I'm going to let Steve do it. So, hey, Steve, what would you give this kit? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I could stay like this forever following you. So, it seems like Steve is a little bit preoccupied at the moment. Um, so, I mean, I don't really have any kind of scaling, but I would give it a B plus if I had to. Uh, just really good kit and fantastic. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, definitely thank you for watching, and like always, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.